This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Play. I'm going to play the audio here. Track it. Chicken wing, the double arm chicken wing. He's got him. He, he fell back. He can't hold him. He's got Flair. He's got, oh, he's got Steamboat. Same Flair had Steamboat shoulders to the mat. It's, Wow. I love the controversy at the end of, uh, the clash of the champions there from new Orleans, Terry Funk on the call with Jim Ross. Uh, we know what's going to happen. You know, that's match two of the three match trilogy. Right. Blair definitely had his foot out on at or on the ropes. It was a two out of three falls match. Here we go. Here's Jr. Let's track it here on right. superstation TBS for a very special edition of world championship wrestling. We showed you at the beginning of the program the controversial uh, ending of the World's Heavyweight Championship match involving Nature Boy Ric Flair and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We are going to hear from Ric Flair's attorney in the next two hours. Also, I understand that the Executive Vice President of World Championship Wrestling, Mr. Jim Hurd, is on his way here to our studios to make a formal statement regarding the allegations from uh, Ric Flair's camp. We're also going to show you how the new World Tag Team Champions, Dr. Dusty Williams and Mike Rotunda, were crowned. That match did not end without controversy either. We have some great main events for you from the st center stage that will include Randy Rose taking on Jack Victory and Bob Orton meeting Shane Douglas. Well, fans, it's going to be a great two hours in this special edition, as I mentioned. It was great fun in New Orleans last weekend. And now let's roll a piece of videotape to show you the legends of the game. There's Terry Funk who helped me on the commentary, the main event, Lou Thez to his left, six times world's heavyweight champion, Sam Muchnick, the greatest promoter ever in the NWA, and Gene Kaninsky, the big guy, big thunder. There's Pat O'Connor, the only world's champion from New Zealand, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. It was a great festive affair for all the dignitaries of the NWA. Nature boy Buddy Rogers was there. There you see him on the left, big thunder, Gene Kaninsky, uh, reminiscing about the great days in the NWA. And as I said, I don't think they realized how much controversy was coming. Uh, as I mentioned, in the next segment, we're going to take a look at all three falls of the Ricky Steamboat, Ric Flair match. We're also going to hear from Ric Flair's attorney, and I hope that Mr. Hurd does make it here before we do go off the air for that official ruling. We'll be back with the controversial World's Heavyweight Championship match in just one moment. So that sort of sets the stage. Man, I, I got to tell you, I love old school, classic Jr. here. This is the mm -hmm. Jr. that I, I think was my favorite version. I, I know everybody likes good old Jr. with the black hat, but mm -hmm. this WCW version of Jim Ross is just my favorite. And I love that he's glowing here because we're clearly against a green screen. Um, you guys had studios like this. Why not just shoot it in there? Was it just a function of ease? Was there no way to get a camera and all the lighting in there or what? what it, was too, it, it was too small. Okay. Yeah, they could, they could shoot a camera, but they couldn't shoot a camera and have Jim Ross in there as well. So, uh, that's, um, uh, th that's why they did it like that. Uh, and it was, uh, it was unfortunate because that studio was, was built by fucking idiots who didn't have a, any idea about building a studio. It's right. And that was one, that was one of the things that studio was one of the things that really depressed me when I came back because I was working for such a big company in the WWE and Big edit suites, spacious, well done, a lot of people. And then we came to this uh, one trick pony, and I went, Oh, fuck, man. It's like going working in a closet. It's worth mentioning again. Uh, you're not here during this era of WCW. Right. Uh, of course, the best content they ever produced happened when you weren't there, uh, 1989. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, but still, this is head to head with WrestleMania 5, what we're watching here with Flair and Steamboat. Uh, of course, that is main evented by. Uh, the macho man, Randy Savage defending his world title and the honor of his, uh, companion, Miss Elizabeth against, uh, the immortal Hulk Hogan. And we know Hulk Hogan's going to come out on top. It's going to set all kinds of records for the company. 1989, such a big year for the WWF, but creatively, as far as, you know, the, uh, the matches bell to bell, nobody could hold a candle to what you guys were. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. 
Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.